Hey guys, Alex here, AG Automotive, and here today we've got the 2014 Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG. So let's check it out. <laughs> Alright, before we get into the video, just do a shout out to Central Coast Motor Group who were nice enough to let me have a look at this one today and I'll leave their contact details down below. So at the front here you've got the big chrome grille, the Mercedes emblem, I love that, a little Mercedes badge on top of the grille and you've got your parking sensors, your front camera and you've also got LED daytime running lights and headlights as well. And I like how they've broken up the front bumper. You've got a slightly sportier bumper down the bottom and it's got that chrome piece. It just makes it look that slightly nicer and more upmarket. And the chrome doesn't stop, it continues along the side as well. So the wheels on the S Class are 20 inch wheels and just have a look at them they're huge got the amg badge there the amg brakes and drilled discs and you've got the v8 by turbo you've also got a camera on the bottom there and then if we come up here we have the sunroof which we'll have a look at and i really like how they've done the chrome trim piece around the doors and below the doors as well so we'll come over to the back so we've got the Mercedes badge there S63 and of course the AMG badge along with you do have a reverse camera you've also got quad exhaust and a nice silver trim piece and you have the reverse light under there as well very stylish Right, let's go and have a look inside. All right, so we're just inside the S63 and wow, what a car. I love the white leather seats and these have got heating and cooling fans for both the driver and the passenger through to the cream on the dash and the pattern and the wood grain and the soft touch dash and things like the analog clock looks um, really really upmarket and luxury all right so to the right of the steering wheel we've got a few buttons there you do have your 360 degree camera buttons which if I go into you can see the 360 degree view or you can see the 180 degree view you also have the parking sensors, your lane departure warning and your steering assist and then below that you have your headlight controls and underneath you've got the handbrake. So the steering wheel is, looks amazing, you've got leather, you've got suede, I love it how this gaping hole in the bottom of the wheel, you've got the big AMG badge, I love that. It's a bit like a smiley face in a way, we well, are smiling if you're driving something like this. And on the right side, you do have some volume and phone controls there. And on the left, you have your menu controls and settings for the dash. So behind there, you've got big sturdy paddle shifters. One says up, one says down. You got your gear selector on the right and your indicator and wiper stalk on the left. So you got your cruise control or active cruise and then above that you've got a little stalk which is your steering wheel adjustment it's all electronic it goes out in and up and down all right so the media center now this is a huge screen and there is so many things settings and options on this i'm only going to touch on a couple so we've got the navigation screen there it's nice and big and easy to operate You've got your radio there, you've got 
AM, FM and digital radio stations. You've also got media to plug in USB or Bluetooth music from your phone. You've got Bluetooth for your telephone. And you've got some vehicle settings, or quite a lot actually. So you've got things like your seat settings, things like massage and heat and cooling, things like that. You've also got your 360 degree camera, your parental control, your owner's manual, and the time comes up with an analog clock, which is really nice. And then you can go deep into the vehicle settings. So further down, you've got your ventilation with the analog clock and the wood grain behind it. I think that looks very classy indeed. And under that, you do have your dual zone climate control. Again, very easy to use. Further down, you've got a little bit of storage space and a 12 volt plug. And then down from there, you do have some more wood grain and you can open it up to reveal a six stacker CD player. Also, you've got a bit of storage further down there as well. And you can do that up to uh, make it classy again. So you do have some shortcut buttons for the media screen. And you do have this mouse wheel eye drive thing. You've also got, if you, this is like a, uh, you can rest your hand on it or if you flip it back, it actually becomes your telephone. So you can dial in a number or answer the phone that way. Now you've also got a few other buttons there. You've got buttons to change the gearbox from sport, manual or comfort. You've also got, you can adjust the suspension to sport or comfort. You can raise or lower the vehicle. You can turn the screen on and off. You've got your volume roller, which I quite like, and your eco button. And we've got this big armrest with this AMG logo printed on it. So if I open this up, you've got some auxiliary ports You've also got a couple of USBs and you've got a remote control for the media center and using your phone as well. Now, something interesting is I can open it that way or I can open it this way. So the glove box. Now you don't really have much room in the glove box so you can't really fit much more in there. You do have the books and service manuals. Also, you've got this interesting looking fragrance by Mercedes that goes through the air conditioning system. So, uh, again, something a little bit different. All right, and we'll come to the moonroof and sunroof. Now, the S-Class has dual moonroofs, so I'll just open those up. And that's a nice touch, having a moonroof in the back. And I'll just open the sunroof up. I like that. Wind in your hair. Go and hop in the back just in the back of the s63 so first impressions is very luxurious back here now i'm six foot one 185 centimeters and have a look i've got heaps of headroom and this seat's set up for me so i've got plenty of knee room leg room and foot room it's very nice i could sit here all the way to queensland now the interesting thing the which not a lot of cars have is the Rear passengers get cooling and heating seats, as do the driver and passenger. And we've got ISOFIX spots, two there on the outboard seat and two behind me. And if we pull this down, got a nice soft armrest with twin cup holders. And if I open it up, you've got a little bit of storage there for a phone or whatnot. And then we've also got some more storage in the back here as well. So you've got heaps and heaps of storage. 
So in front of me, we've got the ventilation surrounded by some wood grain. You got a little bit of storage space there and below that you do have two 12 volt outlets. So it's very nice and very comfortable back here. I might go and have a sleep, what do you reckon? All right, let's go and have a look in the boot, eh? All right, so just in the boot of the S63. So here we have 550 litres of boot room, which is plenty big enough for a few good sized suitcases or a couple of golf clubs or golf sets there. You do get some netting either side for storage. And then if I lift up the floor, you do have your tire gel, your pump and your breakdown tools there as well. All right, let's go and have a look under the bonnet. All right, just under the bonnet of the S63. So here we have a 5.5 litre twin turbocharged V8 petrol engine. And it produces 435 kilowatts of power and 900 newton meters of torque. And that's mated to a seven speed automatic transmission. And Mercedes claim for combined fuel usage is 10.2 liters per 100. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, I'm just gonna go for a little drive in the S63. I'm really excited about this, so let's go. So vision out the front is excellent, straight ahead and towards the passenger side. Rear vision mirror is high up, and rear vision is, it's really wide. It's not the deepest, I will be honest. But you do have your 360 degree cameras and sensors to aid in that. So vision out the sides, yeah, you get good vision all out the sides there, both sides. And the mirrors, the mirrors are, do a pretty good job, even though they've got the curved part on them. All right, so we're just driving around about 60 k's and it's very quiet in here. You wouldn't even really know you're driving a V8. And we're just on comfort mode. And when you put your foot down on the S63, you can then hear it rumble. <laughs> so how does it corner? Well, there's a corner coming up. Let's try it. best of both worlds you've got a big heavy sedan that can carry five adults in comfort and then under the bonnet there's a 5.5 litre twin turbo v8 and I've got the suspension in sport mode and I will say I'm pretty impressed it's handling the bumps even in sport mode very well just listen to that v8 though eh? So now we know how it goes around town and it corners. Well, what about when it gets up on the open road? Well, let's go and have a look. We're still doing 100 Ks now. We've got the suspension on sport and we've got it in sport mode. It's actually really nice. All right, so we might have a little bit of acceleration and see how it goes. All right, let's go. Wow. 
that was losing traction. <laughs> very, very nice, guys. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with it. It really gets up and boogies. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.